Hi, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. We're at the final basement level of the Marsh Cave, and we're going to explore the room, so let's go. Okay, here's a relatively new group of enemies. Uh, they're not terribly difficult. Uh, they have decent defense, but uh, they have no elemental weakness. Uh, I think 80 HP, so... You know, you want to uh, spread out spread out your uh, offense a bit here. As I was saying about this floor, there's uh, 16 rooms. They're set up in a perfect 4x4 four four square arrangement. So um, the lowest room of the rooms are locked. So I'm only going to show you the rooms that actually have treasure as the other ones are empty. So did I just go through that bat? Okay, so we got a piece of iron armor. It's way too deep into the marsh cave for me to consider it instead of actually buying it. So, go down here. And the copper bracelet. Uh, that's a useful piece of armor for um, a thief, a white mage, black mage. Uh, it doesn't reduce your evade very much, but it has some amount of absorb. You might as well equip it. Put it to use. And we'll go to the next room to the right. Okay, let's continue on to the next room. Now, the chest on the right is actually empty. Uh, you can't tell by looking at it, but it is. If you try to open it, it'll say it's empty. So, we're going to only get the chest up top there. Okay, this chest contains a house. It restores 120 HP to everyone. Not all your H M HP. And uh, it restores all of your spell charges. So... Um, I'll explain more about that when it becomes pertinent, but right now it's not. We're gonna save it for later. Now we're gonna go to the room below. Okay, well you can guess what's in that chest in the well-decorated room. Uh, essentially, uh, that if I take one step forward, that's what I call a fixed encounter point. Um, you can't see it, but um, essentially what happens is if you step on one of those tiles you'll get into a fixed encounter. It's not a random encounter. Um, it, the number of enemies may change, but it's generally the same battle. So, and even if you beat them, you can step back on it over and over and over again. Um, this will be useful for level grinding later on in the game, but not right now. So, um, before I go there to fight them, I'm going to uh, heal up. So, I'll be right back. And we're back. We're ready to go. So... Let's get it. Three wizards. That's not great, but uh, don't let the name fool you. They don't cast spells. They just have very powerful physical attacks. Now, these guys are um, they are strong against uh, fire and ice, but they're not strong against lightning. They're not weak to it either, but they're not strong against it. So you want to try and spread out your damage a bit, so you're going to cast lightning too. That's why you uh, saved a level three spell charge. So we're going to use that. And get him. You can run up into uh, up to four wizards at a time. Um, three is well, that's average, so I suppose that's okay. Ouch! Good thing I restored my guys up to maximum. There we go. Okay, one more ought to do. Got him. And we have the crown. Why Astos hit it here, I don't know, but okay. Alright, so uh, let me just uh, heal up a little bit here. Okay, now there's two more rooms that have treasure, so uh, I'm going to show you them. The next one is in the room to the right. Okay, and the last room that actually has some treasure is in the upper right-hand corner, so I will uh, guide you there. Okay, well that's all the treasure that's here in the Marsh Cave, so um, what we're going to do now, before we return the crown to the king, uh, I want to uh, return to Elfland to uh, rest up at the inn, 
and uh, I'll meet you back at the Northwest Castle. Um, also, one more thing. Uh, once you get out of the, of the marsh cave, uh, use a tent to save, and uh, use as many as you need to uh, restore your HP to maximum, because you're probably out of magic, and it could be a little bit of a rough trip home. So uh, just make sure you do that. Um, okay, so that's it for now, and uh, I'll meet you back at the Northwest Castle. Hello, we're back at the Northwest Castle. Um, before entering, uh, make sure that you use a tent to restore your HP and save. And uh, let's go then. We got the crown for him. Maybe he'll give us a nice reward for it. Who knows? Celebration music. Not exactly the music I would think of using when you're betrayed by the Dark Elf, but okay. As long as we're thinking about it. I mean, okay, so this guy's asked us, right? So he, he put the ki prince to sleep, ransacked the treasury, had a complete adv military advantage on them, and then he decided to retreat to his castle all by himself and sit on his ass for five years pretending that he's a king with no subjects? What? Well, I guess it's better than the plot of most games back then. Okay, continue. Okay, now the trick to this battle is to survive the first round. Uh, his first battle is going to be Rub, which is just another mistranslation for DIE! Now, it's fairly likely that uh, Rub will hit, so, uh, but if you manage to avoid it, you'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, basically, everyone should attack except your uh, red and black mages, who should cast fast on your other guys, so we're going to uh, take care of that here. And if I can avoid Rub, we'll be alright. So far, so good. Alright, and if I can just get through this round, I should be able to make it. Come on! Got him. Alright. You have no idea how many times I had to re-record that to avoid rub. <laughs> okay. So... Now we have the crown, which does nothing for right now. Actually, it'll be useful later on, but... Okay, oh yeah, and uh, more importantly, we uh, got the crystal. It's just a crystal ball. Not one of the orbs, just another crystal. So, now um, we're going to uh, take the crystal back to Matoya. So, um, what you want to do is uh, uh, go to Canaria, rest up at the inn, and uh, I'll meet you there so I can show you how to uh, get to... Uh, a shortcut to uh, getting back to Matoya's cave. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, so we're back at Canaria here. Um, I just took some time to sell my excess equipment, uh, restock on uh, heal potions, pure potions, and tents. So now we're going to go to Matoya's cave. Take the ship there this time. Go around here. And you can go under the bridge. And there's another port here. And now, just uh, go up to Matoya's cave. Okay, let's visit Matoya. See what happens when I give her the crystal. Give me an herb, please, please. Yay! We got the herb now. Huh, talk about gratitude. Okay, well now we're going to uh, go back to Alpland Castle. So I will meet you there. And we're back to the Alpland Castle, so let's give the herb to the prince. Alright! Nope, you're awake. Great, we got the Mystic Key. Well, we got a lot of backtracking to do. There's a lot of locked doors that we gotta go back to. So, and we got it. So, let's start here for the uh, backtracking. We'll check out the treasury. Not anymore. Got a silver hammer there for the white mage. And some gold. And the copper gauntlets. So let's put those to good use. And we'll give 
him the Kappa Gauntlets. Okay, well that's all the treasure I'm going to go through here for this video. Next time we're going to go after some more treasure. We're going to go to uh, the Northwest Castle, the Marsh Cave, and uh, some other places earlier in the game that um, had some locked doors. So I'll see you next time to do that. That's all for today uh, and this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.